Hello, I'm Jcode, and this is episode 2 of my Unity Face Punch Steamworks tutorial series. So, in the last episode, we made the basic setup and installation into the Unity editor so we can have access to all these Steamworks Face Punch APIs. And now we can finally use the APIs to get our username and our profile picture. So, let's get started. So, let's create a new script called Steam Friends manager so i'll call it like that you can call it whatever you want so let's open up remove these you these two using we'll replace that by using steamworks and this one unity engine.ui you can remove the void update we won't use it you can remove that make a new raw image and call it pro pp or profile picture however you want and make a new text variable call it player name the change just right before the void add a sync void start then we can make a quick check so if the uh, scene client isn't valid well we'll return so here we don't want to make all the code we will make if the sync plan is valid so if all of this with all of what we did last tutorial doesn't work uh, that means that steam you don't own the game or steam wasn't launched well we won't continue the code so for making the player name really really simple player name dot text is equal to steam client not name now let's get to the mo more difficult part it will be the profile picture so for the profile picture let's make a new var called image or emg is equal to await so that's why we use a thing it's to use the await and put steam uh, friends dot get the large avatar async and here you can pass in the steam client dot id now we can make pp dot texture is equal to a, a new variable a new void that will make in a few instant get texture from him uh, from image and call, put pass in image dot value so we have an error because it doesn't exist yet so we'll create it for that will be real simple public static uh, texture 2d so i said void but it's more of a method that is a texture 2d so it will return a texture 2d and here we'll pass in steamworks.data.image and call it image now make a new var, call it texture, and it will be equal to a new texture 2D. Actually, you can replace var by texture 2D. It's a small optimization. Here we can put int in parentheses image dot width because the width isn't actually int, and to make a new uh, texture 2D, you actually need int that's why we doing that and and we would call image dot height now let's make a for loop replace i by x and length will be image dot width because the width represent the x axis now the for the for replace y by y Okay, I don't know how to speak in English. <laughs> Never mind. Image dot height. Now, make a new var. Call it p. Okay, never mind. Var p, which stand for pixel, is called to image dot get pixel, and we'll pass the x and the y. 
Now texture, uh, it will be a pretty long code, so you can just make press pose and copy that. It this is essentially just getting setting the pixel of the texture 2D with the proper color. So for the X, we'll pass in the uh, the X. It will be wait. Um, yep, that's it. And for the color, it will be the engine, the color that we made. It's just a simple conversion. And that's, we're done for that. Now, after that, you make just texture dot apply to apply the actual texture. And we can return texture. And with that set, it should work. So let's go to your Steam Manager, add the new script put the text and the raw image so it's important that it is a raw image you can press play and voila we see jace uh, likes hellcase.org and you can see my profile picture so this is how to put the username and the uh, and the profile picture now we can do something in bonus is the friend list so for the friend list, let's open up the, the script back. It will be really fast. It's make a new void, public void, um, init friends or call it whatever you want. Here for each replace item by friend in steam friends dot get friends. Actually, like I said, pretty simple. And now you can do whatever you want with the friend. So you can initialize, you can spawn a game object in a scroll bar, a scroll list, sorry, uh, etc. You can do a lot of things. So I'll just debug that log. Um, and I'll put that right here. So before the await, because I want it to like initialize the same time not after the, the all, all of like the image are loaded so if we press play you can see that I have all my friends with their IDs if it's on if he's online if he's playing this game so it's all false because I'm the only one playing my own game but yeah essentially it works so I'll make a quick UI here and I'll be back in a second so I made a quick UI so it's pretty simple just a scroll view with a content the content file is fitter and a vertical uh, layout group and object here with the same thing as we have we had here for ourselves so to make it I'll just create a new folder call it prefab and I'll drag that in and I can delete it now so let's get back to the script here we can make a public transform and call it con a friend content and here we'll just also oh, I forgot public game object call friend object or obj now here we can make a game object friend um, or let's let's make like f is equal to instantiate friends abj and the parent will be the friend content yep so this will spawn the object now what we can do is um, since we have the friend's name and the id and we can essentially make the same thing as this so we can just copy that based in, in here 
and say that f dot get component in children raw image doc texture is equal to get the texture and here we'll pass in the friends dot id yep and now we have only one problem is we need to put it in a sync method now it should work and also yeah we actually need to name so f dot get component in child in children text dot text is equal to friends dot name and now if we assign it we'll just assign the variable so steam manager put the content in the content and the game object in the game object slot and now we should yep they all spawn and we can see that we have their profile picture so yeah um i thought i have myself what you can do to optimize you know uh, you know this that it was actually scrolling like adding so you can keep that but why it was doing that is because it was actually uh, doing that thing and this takes time so first of all you can put that before loading the the image it's like that uh, the name will already be here and we can actually just change that in uh, and make it like so let's say public async void I think void and put just some assign friend image and here you can pass in the game object and the actual and uh, yeah, that's it actually oh yeah and the ID so steam id and id and actually just instead of doing all of that just call this put the f game object and the friends.id and we can put that right here replace we, we don't need that anymore we'll just put i d and f and uh, now they should all spawn and unity crashed nice i'll be back so um it back now they should all appear at once and then their image should load yep so it worked now they all spawn at the same time and then their image is just getting loaded after. So I hope you like this tutorial. Um, part three will come out soon. Well, sooner than this tutorial took to come out. Uh, leave a comment of what you should like. You would like to see on this tutorial, on um, something related to Facebook Steam or st uh, Steam implementation. Have a nice day. Have a good programming session. It was J-Code. Bye.